Yo, come on, come on, love the love, nothing but respect, you know what we do, what we don't, what we is, what we isn't, what we is, is here today bring you guys and girls, Black Clover, chapter 360, Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. only 40 more chapters until the whopping milestone, chapter 400, I'm getting excited, uh, we're over halfway there, um, but yo, stuff is picking up, we're in the final arc of the story, stuff has been wild. Last chapter ended with Noelle coming face to face with her mother after all her siblings essentially were just laid flat out across the floor in front of her and questioning their own existence. Alright, it was a little bit emotional, but it was also a very short chapter. Um, so I'm hoping this week we get a little bit of extra length, but who knows, because everything else is on break this week, right? Um, Black Clover is essentially the only manga chapter that's a fresh release that I'm doing this week. One Piece is on break, My Hero's on break, right? Um, I do have the Sasuke story and the Konoha story coming out later this week as well. But those are old chapters that I'm slowly getting through, but hey, it is what it is. Sometimes you just got to focus on the positive, and the positive is we got Black Clover this week. So let's get straight into it. But before we do, you know what to do, you know what's appreciated, you know what's expected at this point in time. Share your love, subscribe to the channel, help us hit our goal of hitting 200 subscribers, alright, give the video a thumbs up, and all that good stuff, but now that you have, let's get into the greatness that is Black Clover, because do you know what, As on a somber note, this series isn't going to be around forever releasing weekly, and we're going to enjoy it while we've got it, it's one of those beautiful things where sometimes I think everyone needs to sit and reflect, um... We're in a moment of time, and what I do here, and what I get to enjoy here, is capturing my moments in time with these stories as we go week to week, and um, just enjoy it. Just enjoy the story, enjoy what there is to come, alright? Let's get into it. So we pick up, Noelle's got her new form, Noelle's attack in her new form. Her face is looking a little chibi there, her cheeks are all puckered, she's doing the... She's doing the face, but she comes in with like what looks like a slamming lance, Sea Dragon's Roar, and this giant Leviathan, and uh, like, I know last week I said Leviathan before it was announced that it was actually called the Leviathan, right? So I guess this is technically her Leviathan form, it may have a different name, but I'm gonna call it the Leviathan form for the moment, um, but yo, she absolutely mm, feeds with this thing, it looks amazing. Absolute phenomenal art here. Um, I actually do like the uh, sort of beast, like beastious forms and stuff like that that do arise in this series. Um, but she sends out this giant leviathan. It's serpentining around, coming straight in. Jaws about to clasp on a mother. Obviously, it's going to be early days in the fight, so she's going to do nothing here, essentially. But this still looks phenomenal. Uh, and we also get Volume 35 releases June 2nd. Right? Um, I currently only have up to volume 31 or 2 in hard copy myself at the moment, so I'm a couple volumes behind. Uh, but I think that's just the difference, the delay between the Japanese releases and the English releases, because I obviously get the English copies of them, being an English-speaking person myself. Um, but yo, so, with this, volume 35 is released, so I'll have to calculate up and make sure I'm up to date on that, because I've been rereading the story as well as I go along. Um, page 360. The Unseen World. Ooh, that title has me a little hype. So this Leviathan attack comes in. Her mother does a spinning roll. Or Wait, is that a... Sp I think that's a spinning roll. Because she was coming in on top. So she comes in on top. She spins upside down. And it creates a tornado, essentially, that defends and clashes against this dragon. So you see a bunch of clash marks along the side of it, but you also see almost like a drill path where she's hit, made the initial contact with the mouth of the Leviathan, and she's sort of zigging through as she's um, sort of drilling past it. Um, it's a beautiful panel, actually. Come at me, Noel. That's my lion mother. Phrasing. Um, both of them do look kitted out, though. Um, I do love, like, how they've been, been able to incorporate these new forms. It's very grandiose. Um, you've probably heard me talk about this before, but it's one of the things that I like to be, a, uh, liked in Fairy Tale, because this reminds me quite a lot of Urza's Scarlet's forms and stuff like that. So, um, it does look lovely. Uh, we see the Clover Kingdom, there's just rubble everywhere, smoke everywhere, but we still have this protection spell from Yuno, um, glistening over the top, stopping the utter destruction of the kingdom as we know it. 
and we cut back to Noel. Oh, sorry, we cut back to Yuno versus uh, Lucius. Um, he's looking decked out. Honestly, he kind of based on the horn structure there, for, like his crown horns. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Do you know what he's giving me some vibes of? Um, the Chesapeake Ripper from the Hannibal TV series, just not in silhouette. That's the kind of vibes I'm getting here, and I do like that imagery because he's um, he's a predator. Like Lucius here is a predator, but he's feigning innocence as a as a doe, as as a very weak creature. So I absolutely love the symbolism with that. Um, they're darting around though, and you see these, uh, you see Yuno's light magic, like the star magic, zipping around. His star and wind magic possess mobility capable of matching my foresight and speed. Damn! Okay. A bit of a speed feat there for Yuno, and he. Oh, he slips him! My boy, you know, just straight up slips him. He's coming in on the blind side. Are you just... Oh, really? Coming in with the Zephyr sword, right? He swings and he straight up... Lucy just straight up catches the blade. Doesn't even... Doesn't even cut the skin. And just yeets him. Just yeet! Straight through a building. But this is the end. This is the end. With this attack... I'll take control over your soul. Yo, are we gonna get a Uno you know versus? Ooh! If this ends with Uno you know getting taken over, seeing Uno you know versus Asta in that capacity would actually be very intense. Wind Spirit Creation Magic. Spirit of Notice. So he's got the sword and the shield. Now he's kind of looking like Link. Um. A shield of wind that blows back oncoming attacks. What? That magic. And he blitzes and he slices Lucius straight up the collarbone too. Yo, he's getting faster. I can't last much longer. So I'll end this right now. How strange. Even if he put his whole life into training at Un a Uno that grew up in the Clover Kingdom has this much power? Out of all of my visions, the world where Uno was at his most powerful was the one where the Spade Rebellion never happened and he steadily grew strong. But even that Uno required years to master star magic. And yet, in a little over a year, this Uno is just as powerful. Perhaps... Even more powerful. Yo, your foresight ain't that good then. Honestly. You don't you don't have that good foresight. You got a little bit of that plebeium foresight where it's just like, let me see the future. Looks at one specific future. Doesn't look at the multitude of decisions and changes. Damn. The others too. Noel, the youngest of House Silver. Looking awesome as well in that armour. Right, although mm, a little bit too much ass up action happening there. She is still underage. There is no future where she should have become this strong. That dangerous woman, Marilona, should have been instantly killed by Morris. Fuck! Oh, I always fuck up his name. Fuglian. Fugil. Far out. Every time I say it, I say it differently. This this one name, Fuglian. Shouldn't even be here. He was supposed to have died earlier. The Magic Knights should have been wiped out swiftly too. So why? What's so different about this one that's different from my visions? They don't have Asta. You, you forced their hand to move prematurely because they don't have Asta. Is that it? This you know. It always came down to him at the end. He ended it with Lucifero too. That always frustrated me. But he is also the reason why I've been able to stand against those I could not defeat. Wait. Is this you know saying this? Or is this 
Lucius. Because it looks like it's supposed to be Lucius with the black hair, but this is also how Yuno sees himself. It always came down to him at the end. He ended it with Lucifero too. That always frustrated me. But he's also the reason why I've been able to stand against those I could not defeat. This world. I cannot see its future. This world that Asa has shaped. Yo! I'm, I'm more zo zoomed in than I normally am, but this panel hits. I will be victorious. It's, so it doesn't matter who I'm up against. I will be victorious. And Yuno cuts him in half. An unyielding blow cuts through Lucius. Yeah, break next week. No! Got to do the Darth Vader. No! <laughs> oh, I hate breaks. It always upsets me because I always want to get a little bit more. Yo, you know came in clutch. I love this chapter. This chapter actually did wonders for Yuno, I think. Because Yuno's always got good moments, but it's always overshadowed by the fact that it doesn't feel like he ever really has to push himself all that much. It's just like he gets an ability and keeps going. And although he got an ability in this chapter, the reason why he gets it, like... I, I, do, I do give it a bit of a clearance. Oh, I didn't even notice before. He cut something off Lucius. He cut Lucius's horns off! Oh... But Lucius automatically grew them back. Was that because he can reshape himself with soul magic? Which would mean this attack is very much futile. Which, I mean, we kind of already would have assumed that. But, like, going back, I didn't even notice. Lucius here gets his horns cut and the whole thing got cut off. When he first goes wind spirit um, creation magic, right? Spirit of notice. He cuts off the horn. And then we see the horn refuse and regrow completely. And after it's regrown, he's just back. He's just back at it again. Guess who's back? Back again. Lucius is back. Killing you, no. Um, damn, I like this chapter. This was a damn good chapter. Um, I want to give this an eight out of ten for Black Clover. It progressed the story. There was still more stuff it could have done, but I thought it was an, an actually really nice chapter. And I really liked the um, the art in it. Um, even though I liked the last double page spread, I actually think I might give it to the first page of the chapter, The Sea Dragons are Raw. That panel looks phenomenal, honestly speaking. Um, that being said, this was page 360. The Unseen World of Black Clover. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. If you haven't done so already, you know what to do. You know what's really appreciated. Subscribe to the channel. Help us hit our goal of 200 subscribers. All right, give the video a thumbs up and all that good stuff. If you want to take another step and get a little bit more involved, you can do so. Uh, down below is the link tree. In the link tree, you can join the Discord to talk anything anime and manga related. You can check out my Twitch where I do gameplay videos for stuff. At the moment, I'm playing through the likes of Jedi Survivor, Gotham Knights... Um, I want to get through Miles Morales' Spider-Man before Spider-Man 2 releases. I've got a heap of games I want to get through, right? Um, so be sure to check that out. It'll also take you to my Twitter and my TikTok. Follow me on TikTok, please. I'm trying to hit a thousand followers so I can go live there, talk anything anime and manga related, and, uh, do more community back and forth stuff on there as well. Um, and then hopefully even maybe migrate that to doing streams, uh, over here on YouTube, but... We'll see. I do the streams at the moment mostly for One Piece, just because of, I've already got more of a community for that here. But doesn't mean I wouldn't like to do a bit more of a conversation and stuff like that for other series that are covered like Black Clover. So share that love if you want that. And uh, that being said, until the next chapter of Black Clover, which break next week breaks my heart. But until the next chapter of Black Clover, or until the next video of mine you watch, whatever it is you're here for, thank you guys and girls for coming through. Couldn't do it without you. It's really appreciated. Have a damn good day. Goodbye.